It is Tuesday, November 7th, 2023, and you're listening to the Tuesday Catch-Up, presented by Gravy Train Productions and sponsored proudly by Barrel 41 Brewing in Nina, Wisconsin, nestled yeah. at 1132 South Commercial Street, celebrating their fifth anniversary this week, Saturday, November 10th. Yeah. Nate, hit the music. Can do. You, oh, you want me to hit the music? Nate, I would love it if you would hit Please that. Please do. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. I don't know how to read at that point. Yeah. Not without beer. You got to come back with something. The sauce is the boss. <laughs> Put some fucking headphones in. You are listening to the Tuesday Catch-Up. Welcome on into the Tuesday Catch-Up, everybody. It's a chaotic week in this house, Fredrickson, over here. Boys, I'm the lone man healthy in this household right now. <gasps> I got a double infected wife. She's got viral infections. She's got bacterial sinus. It's the whole nine yards. She's knocked out. She's down for the count. And to make matters worse, I got a cat that shit in blood. Can you believe oh, this? Geez. Unbelievable. Ooh. I'm in the fucking, I'm in it, dude. One floor to the next. That's just quarantine. I'm chasing one. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure one's alive on the bed. And then I go downstairs and I make sure one hasn't tracked blood all over my house. It's a, it's worms, an absolute mess. Worms three. Dude, it is worms <laughs> three. This is the, this is worms. The reckoning dude. Once a year, once a year, our cat gets a horrible bout of, I lick the bottom of shoes and get a disease. And this is that week. And every year it's just grosser than every year. I think, Hey, I've handled this year. It can't get grosser next year. I tell you what, something something happened this year. It's even worse. This I woke up every. Possible. This is a reoccurring thing in the household. Once a year, dude. She was well, she so healthy. Other than this, once a year, she just all of a sudden will like will come downstairs and it'll look like someone painted our bathroom and shit. She'll she'll step in it and then run it all around the room. And now we don't live in a place with white bathroom floors. We live in a place with like beige to brown bathroom floors. So it's so hard to see if you've if you've cleaned up her artwork so it's been a real you know it's been a real adventure the last two days i'm nice. at i'm at my wits end fellas i'm gonna need you to carry me tonight because your boy your boy's running on e dude mm -hmm. no <laughs> and it's third and ten <laughs> wow i was like damn these boys don't support me at all whatever what's going oh, on you boo, your cat shit and blood no. uh yeah, your cat gets but, sick more than other cats I know. Aren't they supposed to be like pretty healthy? Like that's like a twice in a lifetime event, and for you, it's like every fall. I think once a year getting sick is fine. I don't see an issue with that. What are Should, you a fucking vet? Hey, you're not even a real doctor yet. What do you do? What do you be a pet doctor for? Shut up. You can't just ship it to to Montana. Boom, roast it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. At least with my pet gets. These are my pets that uh, cause me anxiety. I don't fucking take it across to Montana. <laughs> Bring it, man. That was way better what than the implying? joke I was gonna make. What you would, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, full crew's here. I'm suffering deeply in my house. What's going on, fellas? How are you doing? So actually, um, my cat has a sinus infection, and I'm shitting blood. So pretty much the same over here. <laughs> it's been a rough week over it's been here. A rough week. <laughs> been shitting all over the bathroom walls and stuff. Yeah. All right, I, I too was I, I was um, shitting blood and a cat f just fell out of my ass. <laughs> and boy, are my sinuses tired. <laughs> Harley, how are you doing? My sinuses are leaking blood and I shit a cat. So that's pretty <laughs> over here too. My, oh. all around. And you're well, all caught up. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, yeah. I just end the episode right there. I'll be honest, I'm pretty tired. I'm not not feeling it. No. Um. Is that really it? That's all you guys. You're really just gonna rip. You're gonna steal my shit. That's what you're gonna spin off, dude. You're I uh, gonna, accidentally my showed my um, my testicles to my coworker today. <laughs> I mean, can How I does just that say something? Accidentally, I yeah. don't feel like this is the first time you've said this to us. It does feel like you've accidentally exposed yourself once or twice. It, Matt, it, fix your camera first of all. I lean back. Thank you. And second of all, this is the first time. Any of my genitalia has been seen by any of my coworkers, guaranteed. Okay, can, please give us the walkthrough. How does how did this happen? So naturally, it's Monday. I'm out of underwear. <laughs> naturally, naturally. So I go, oh, again, I'll free ball today. I wear some <laughs> some jeans that I've had for oh, no. probably too long. You went commando in jeans, you psycho. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like. 
they're not jeans, dude. But they're pants. They're softer jeans. My thighs are burning just thinking about. Yeah, them, dude. Right? Honestly, the bottom of your scrot must be absolutely raw, as Gordon uh, Ramsay oh, would say. That's bur- that's burly boy talk. Nate and I got a little wiggle room. Oh, Nate yeah. is a burly boy. Yeah. I, I went for a walk today with no issues. That's crazy, dude. The fact that Nate, okay, not Nate only did you go to work with that, you went for a voluntary lunch. You're living California, and you went for a walk at lunch in <laughs> underwearless jeans. You should be <laughs> shot in town square. Um, yeah, maybe. But uh, so I'm I'm sitting back. A coworker comes over to talk to me. I'm sitting back. I'm leaning back in my chair. I'm man spreading because it's my office. Sure. I'm leaning back, you know, just just aiming right at her. Mm-hmm. And she leaves and I'm go. I'm getting a little breeze. Oh no. <laughs> in between my 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 nuts and there is a hole in my <laughs> pants. Direct line of sight to my balls. <laughs> it's it's a small hole, yes. But it's enough that if I were her, I would have said something like, "Hey Nate, you're you're right. you got a hole in your pants." Hey Nate, your testicles showing. Did yeah, now have you playing it back? Playing it no, back. I, I haven't seen her it, eyes. Did you they, see her eyes like avert and go down there? No, no. But if she does end up complaining to HR, I'm just gonna say I was wearing testicle colored underwear, <laughs> beige underwear. Yeah. I mean, so man. now I'm in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I had a similar experience, but not at work. Okay, we, it was like the size of um, s- smaller than a penny. Wait, is your balls? No, the hole that. Oh, that that's pretty small. Like, I mean, so she would, would like they were. She was coming in to say something. She was like, "Hey, Nate, the paper, the reports are done. With uh, whatever, whatever." <laughs> and you're just sitting there. Like, at, did she like leave in a rush? Was it like? Did it feel like the conversation got cut short? What? what like. This is no, how we find out if she saw like, it. Seems like the vibes are fine. Nice. All right. That's good. She winked at me on her way out. Yeah. Yeah. She finger guns you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I think, well, no, I think, I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think she actually saw anything. Nice. But I did turn bright red afterwards and go, oh no. Like you, I like press it up against my nuts. I was like, yeah, you could definitely maybe see if you could, if the light hits it right, you could maybe see those balls. <laughs> that's tough, dude. This now, are from a seniority level, where are you guys at? Is how it is? Are you guys uh, peers or is she? Well, w- which is worse? I. <laughs> they're both pretty bad, but I think if if she's lower, if she's lower, it's probably the worst. In ranking, it goes that then peers then boss. She is lower. <laughs> well, Nate, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till you move home and get a new job. It's gonna yeah. send you <laughs> back, dude. <laughs> No, there's a 99% chance that there was no no scrote seen That's today. Good. All right, we'll take 99%. All right, Harley, yeah. Matt, what the hell's going on in your lives? Is there the, what do you got here for us? Honestly, pretty uneventful uh weekend for me, just kind of regrouping. Uh you know, crazy week coming up here and then uh I don't know, but I did have a ball experience too, but it was way worse than <laughs> today. Me. No, no, no. Well, please let's let you know what sharing is caring. Let's get these out in the open. Let me, let me air my grievances and, um, and something else. You guys both air, let me else. air my balls. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I had an old pair of boxers one and um, they had split like kind of on the right hand side of, you know, from from some friction yeah. uh, over the years, you know, and yep. uh, we were playing video games upstairs in our house with, you know, we had 11 guys living there. And uh, so three of us are on the couch, can't see anything. And then our roommate, Tony, comes up and I have a full on conversation with him with my balls out, sticking through that hole. (laughs) Not a clue in the world, because, you know, like you wake up, everyone starts wandering out and playing 2K. And uh, I was like, how did Tony not say anything to me? (laughs) (laughs) We had like a 10 minute conversation and they were fully just like out. Well, because what do you do? Like, if I'm the one I walk in, if I don't know you all that well, or like it's not like that, and you was my like, roommate. Yeah, I would have gone, dude, your balls are out. Oh, well, like, and then who cares? I mean, at that point, yeah. dude, he probably was just like, whatever. But if, yeah. if I like, it's so hard as someone it's like a normal so person funny. to be like, that's like when someone has, well, it's probably a much lesser extent, but someone has like a booger in their like beard or like yeah. hanging in their nose. Like, that's basically the balls of the face. Mm-hmm. Like, that's basically mm-hmm. your balls hanging out of your face to be like, hey, you should like examine that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
That's a oh, tough yeah. one. It is, it is tough, but Nate, you totally unlocked that memory for me. I'd forgotten <laughs> completely about that. You had suppressed that one. I had suppressed that, that nuts at memory. I, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's that, the, you know, you both, you both were in it. You both did fine. I'm proud yeah. of you both for handling it the way you did. Harley, do you have a story you'd like to share? I've had some pants split. I, I'm trying to think of a specific <laughs> moment. Uh, there was one where I was like either at work or in, in class one day and pants that I knew were kind of on the fringe. Mm -hmm. Like maybe like there was like the seam was starting to split. I like bent in a certain way and felt the whole like taint rip in the pants. <laughs> then I was basically walking around with two separate pant legs for like four hours in a day. You had ashes uh, chaps, dude. You had like cowboy, you had much, cowboy pants on. But no, no ball to air contact to my knowledge. That's good. I just don't. I mean, I mean, good for you for going commando. I, I'm mad. I'm no stranger to the fat guy blowout though, where it looks like it looks like you might have burnt rubber on him, dude. They're, yep. like, they're, oh, like, they're, like, they're kind of spider webbed a little bit. You go, God, yeah. like, imagine the level of heat and friction. I bet this, dude. If we were if we're in the wilderness and we're trying to survive, just rub my legs together really fast. We'll make a fire, dude. <laughs> cool. put, Tell me to some, walk up a hill. Yeah, in corduroy. And put me put me in denim with no underwear, and I'll make you a fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Pack it with kindling. I, yeah, yeah, put some, <laughs> put some kindling between my legs and tell me to walk a hill. <laughs> some dryer lint in your corduroy folds. <laughs> I'll just pick some lint from my belly button and put it down there. Some sticks, dude. I might dude. be a one man survival machine. Belly button lint is real. <sighs> There's been like probably three times in the last couple months where I just look down and every single time, piece of right. belly button lint. <laughs> like I'm big on the belly lid too. I I realized yesterday Lucy caught me taking a boomer man a boomer nap. Uh, I ate McDonald's, which I broke. I don't want to hear about it. Shut the fuck up. Every every week you come in. <laughs> yeah. I'm a sucker for the product. All right. They've got me. They know they got me. I'm not even it's it is what it is. So, anyways, I ate I cleaned the basement. I ate the McDonald's and it immediately put me into a coma. So I dragged my recliner. I had my recliner over there. I fell asleep with my of my shirt over my belly button, fully like knocked out with my <laughs> like a chin and a beanie on. She took a picture of me, dude. I could not look more disgusting. I was like, how the fuck do you even like how do you love me at all anymore? There's no way dude, you can see the lint in my belly button and my double chin. <laughs> And you could, he dude, if they, if she could press down in the live photo, you'd hear, <laughs> you'd hear the fucking apnea going you, on. You send one, I'll send one. All right. I'll see, I'll see if I can get her to send <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, dude. 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 Rough. Rough. Speaking of, speaking of belly buttons, I have an Audi now. My innie turned into what? an Audi. I have oh. a, I have an umbilical hernia. I was going to say you have a hernia, right? Yeah. Yeah. How I was, did that happen? This happened, this happened over COVID. I swear it happened because I ate too much food. Um, I, I maxed out one day and I was looking at my food baby and I woke up the next day and I had a little bit of an Audi and it was what not What does you say about that? It's an umbilical hernia. <laughs> <laughs> from food? Is that possible? Not from food. I don't know. Harley, don't that's, know. that's your body yearning to be back in the womb. It's just and then I you're, you're, growing, you're, you're growing a front tail. It's trying to get <laughs> to the mothership. I tried to push it in and it was like kind of tender. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's not good. Dude, our friend Babbitt's had one. I would push on it and I could push into his stomach. It'd go quick. Like I could, I could push oh it in and then it would bounce back out. I was like, this is amazing, dude. So Harley, could you show us? Uh, Yeah. I asked my doctor about it. So see how it's only on like the one side. Why does your why is your belly button slanted, dude? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like it's a herniated just on one side. So now I have like a weird cavern belly your, button. Your belly button is a always... cleft palate, dude. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That's I have amazing. a cleft belly button now. Yeah, well, mine has gotten deeper, and I think it's because I gotten fatter. So that's something I have full control over both. But I've created a cavern in there. I mean, I could pull. I used to be able. I used to never have belly belly lint or anything like that. Stuff in there now. Dude, I can get. Dude, it's sometimes. Sometimes I'll put water in there when I'm and I'll just tap the water out. It makes a little geyser. It looks like Yellowstone. It's <laughs> awesome, dude. You ever feel your when you when you stick your belly out? You just kind of. Kind of, I could do it. I like the way it's like I can like I can make a suction sound because the hole is nice and like very circular, so I can just go like on it. It's very I, tummy drums or something else. I've got like the triangle of tummy drums. I'm you surprised. <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't gone like 
full Kyle XY and just started removing belly buttons. <laughs> so is the uh, whole nature of I mean, <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> and, and, and the fact that we all three were like, yeah, move that show. I remember that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Face is unlocking memory scene, dog, dude. <laughs> Man, between that, that was Kyle XY was in like prime, prime, like ABC television. Like it would be like Secret prime, Life of the American Teenager would phase. end, and then it would go Kyle XY is gonna round out the night. What was that movie uh, or that show? Seventh Heaven? Is that it? Where they had seven Seventh kids? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, dude. Oh, right, you remember Seventh Heaven? That was I a do. while. That was a big Couldn't show. forget it. That was back in like the really big show? sitcom. Uh, so, yeah, that one was good. Um, but Kyle XY is a niche. Uh, it, w- it was one season, like nine episodes. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Nate, what All next I remember you is, tell us you yeah, love bones. The shit out of it, though. I do not love bones. I am not chum. I am not him. <laughs> you are not him. <laughs> the uh, the umbilical cord. That's like obviously the baby's connected. That's like it's that's it's it's, it's modem. That's like that's the Ethernet connection for babies, right? Like because once yeah. they get out, then it's just all Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. They only yeah, get their nips on wired. here and there. But right now they're right, they got hardwired connection, so they can get that good connection. Well, they but get, when the they get a periodic, uh, they get a periodic uh, like USB drive upload. That's yeah, milk. You, that's breastfeeding, dude. Yeah, you gotta get in there and get the download, and then after a while they stop, and you run completely wireless. You're on, you're on, mm-hmm. you're on Bluetooth. Everyone's like, I just call, like, you know what I mean? Connections fewer and farther between. But when the baby's got it, it's just just software updates. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Now, when a a baby has its LAN connection and it's in its mind, like, when they finally go to remove that, the reason we have belly buttons, innies, and outies is purely about the way they're cutting that cord, right? Like, that's just like, pretty wide that's a that's a pretty sizable variance in skill from doctors the fact that we have innies and outies or is that like because the the cord is kind of screwed up harley you would you're the doctor here uh i don't i don't know enough about cutting umbilical cords it is just the that, doctor but... just snipping dude then why the fuzz that's... are there outies how can they not all be trained to cut it normally or why do we not have all outies like how are they getting ones that i go in you know what i mean like what is going like, how does this happen it's like circumcision. There's probably like half outies and half innies. Yeah, I mean, yes, but that's watch, watch jobs. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, a couple half hoods. A couple Harley's both. A couple crew necks the, out there. The real thing we should be worrying about is why don't we keep babies connected to the umbilical cord for a little while and make super babies? Because like <laughs> babies grow the most, you know, per like a percentage wise while they're in the womb. You know, we go from nothing to something. Let's keep those suckers attached. Let's have a bunch of Shaquille O'Neal's walking around. Do you think that's how it actually work? Like if you stayed plugged, if you still, if you got to keep your land connection, you would, you would upgrade even further or are we, you know, now I you, like, know nothing about this, but I can say with a very high confidence that yes, that is exactly how it works. And I think we should keep, keep them connected for a couple. I, so I'm going to be the counterpart here. Cause I'm also a doctor. Um, it's, it happened. They cut you cause it's like Indiana Jones where it sucks the life out of you. If you're connected oh. too, too long, you get like, you know, you do that scene where the, all your skin melts off and stuff and you age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matt. Exactly. Matt, Matt closes his clipboard. You know, you know <laughs> that scene? You know that scene? <laughs> Listen, me, uh, damn it. She goes, she me. goes, she goes, I'd like to keep my baby attached. Matt goes, your skin's going to melt off. Like Indiana <laughs> well, you ever seen, have see... you ever seen the movie Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Where you're gonna have all your hair <laughs> yes. grow out in a matter of 30 seconds while you're aging. You'll yes. Age. The one with Shia LaBeouf. Yes. That one. Shia you'll LaBeouf. be like, you'll be like Benjamin Button, but the other one, like it's going to be, mm-hmm. which is not, which is actually, just you'll normal. be like a normal person. You'll be the reverse Benjamin Button, which is but faster. <laughs> <laughs> We'll come to think of it, we're all the anti Benjamin. Isn't Martin. that an M Night M Night Shyamalan movie, like The Island or something? Everyone starts aging faster. Mm, I think you're thinking of Click. No, he's thinking no, of Hot Tub Time Machine. Night... Oh. No, I think he's thinking of Hot Tub Time Machine too. Back to no, the thinking... that, is that that M Night Shyamalan Ding Dong? <laughs> no, you're thinking of Grown Ups, dude. That's the movie you're thinking of, Harley. Mm. Uh, I should have known because the baby's all you grow a soul patch on the baby Growing and all up. the other person. Yes, Jonah Hill's in it, no, right? You're thinking Harley. No, 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 no. You're thinking of Back to the Future. That's the movie where everyone ages really quickly. Right, right. Yes. No, now, you're thinking of Deja Vu. No, you're thinking of the six. No, With yes. Denzel yeah. Washington? Man on Fire. 
No, no, no. The negotiator. Yes. No. You're uh, thinking of wait a minute. Actually, big, big wreck on the negotiator with Samuel L. Jackson. Not to take us off Bitland, but holy hell, I watched that movie the other day while I was driving. That's a great well, movie. I love it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're all haters. Someday you'll all get on board with watching movies on your phone while you. I do too. I just don't broadcast it vocally. Yeah, whatever. I say a lot of things out loud that everyone else do you watch while you drive, Hayden. I'm a uh, white man who tells it like feed. it is, dude. <laughs> dude, our my gay friend Jack, which he this is how I describe it. He calls me, he goes, You're a straight white comedian, and you tell it how it is. That's what he always says to me. Every time he gets the phone, I go, I hate you. <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> he goes, I get it. You're just a straight white guy who just tells it how it is. <laughs> I, I hate this so much. But um, yeah, no, I don't know. Watch I watched the negotiator while I drove, and it was it was terrific. You ever seen movie. that? No, I don't know. That's good. Is Matt, that where he's on it. a bus with Bruce Willis? No, you're thinking of Speed with Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's a great life bit. If someone's if someone suggests a movie, give them a movie in somewhat the same vein but completely different. Also, <laughs> and it's a fun yeah. little game, or or a different movie with the same actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a fun life fit that is, that crosses all friend groups because if we do it a lot here, I do it a lot with the people I know. I can't like I do it to anybody I can tell now where they're like, oh, like what's that movie uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio and the bear? And I'm like, okay, Winnie the Pooh, like Christopher Robin story. <laughs> yes, no, that's it's not the Revenant. That's you're thinking of Django Unchained. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. yeah, you just keep going down the rabbit hole and so on and so forth. Um, not to get us off track one more time. I have a somber update for you guys. Please do. R.I.P. Yogurt. (laughs) (laughs) We're we're pulling a fallen hero right now. Do you guys remember that meme of the grandpa with the green lips and the? (laughs) 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 By far the funniest thing that's ever been on the internet. (laughs) He died. So. Oh, <laughs> Joe, uh, it got put in a group chat, and Joe put in a gif of the girl yelling after Trump won. Nah! <laughs> no! How, did you know? How did you find out, dude? They posted like a tribute video, and he's doing so much goofy shit, like in Shut the video. Up, like, listen, they're like, "Yeah, I would." We can watch it on the Patreon at the end. It's very, it's like, it's touching. But we all, I, I'm, I'm old school thought. I hope he went out doing something crazy like eating a jar of paint, dude. He cannot. If I find out that guy passed in his sleep, I'd fucking rage. I want to know that he, he died like doing more grandpa hijinks where he like ate, ate a bowl of peppers thinking they were like pickles. Like I want, like I want something crazy like that. You know, not that specifically. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're thinking of the movie Bad Grandpa. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so no, R.I.P. Yogurt Man. Talking dude. about the movie Yogurt Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was Yo, with Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of uh, uh, Peanut Butter Falcon. Oh, uh, good movie. Or no, oh, that's Peanut, Peanut Butter, Butter Baby. Butter. That's you're yeah. thinking of Peanut Butter Baby. Oh shit, dude! I just <laughs> met myself with the rubber band. <laughs> oh. We're falling apart. Yeah, we are. <laughs> off really the rails, of, baby. Things have gotten away from us a little oh, bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was time. <laughs> that's what oh, that's what yogurt shit. grandpa said at the gates of heaven. Only <laughs> door, and then they let him in, dude. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Hey, can I tell you guys something? I am having an ethical <laughs> dilemma. Not an ethical dilemma. There's a uh, a PR nightmare on my street right now. So. As you guys have well documented over the last five years of the podcast, I don't particularly love maintenance on the house. I think it stinks. It's not a fun activity. Yeah. One of those activities that I don't do is I don't rake my leaves at all. You should not do it. So yesterday, two little kids come over. They knock on the door. I'm obviously tired. I'm about to eat McDonald's. I have no will to go out there. And they, <laughs> I open the door. And generally when someone, I'll say this, when someone rings the doorbell, I don't answer. I almost never answer my door. I think that, I think the days of going to someone's house and knocking on the door is over. That's a done, that's over. You can't do that anymore. I, what do you guys think of that first? I, I agree. 
Yeah. Like I, I just, I straight up like, dude, call me before you come over. If you don't, if you don't know me enough to have at least one of my phone, like a phone number to reach me or some way to contact that you're coming over and you knock on my door, I'm instantly in defense mode. And that's such a that's weird change now versus like, dude, in 2005, fucking 10 people could just be showed up at your door and you'd be like, Hey, what's up? Come on in the, fr- come stand in my front hall. Like the gone are the days of come on in for a second, dude. It could be a tornado outside and someone could be like, can I, can, can I, I, I wouldn't even let him in my front hall. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, that's why we have a ring and I'll be home and like, I'll see someone there. And like, if I'm really interested to see what they got to say, I'll talk through it. Yeah. But I could be upstairs. I could be on the couch sharing a wall with the door. Like it doesn't matter if I'm home or not. What if the guy just goes, I, your windows are open upstairs. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I have thought about that, but like the last time I did that, I was home and I put out like a cat tower or whatever. And the guy who was swinging a sword, Stopped over and rang the doorbell. I was like, anything wrong with it? I was like, no, nope, it's all good. He's like, all right. And then they took it. <laughs> For what? That's the question. I don't even know if they have a cat. Practicing his ninja skills. <laughs> yeah. Cats do I'm... have this like innate sense of being able to like fit in in the most dysfunctional environments. Like, like almost every they are like every tr- trashy and or sketchy place I've ever been to. Like there's a cat just hanging out and they're like, that's Binks. He's just alive. Like he just, he just lives here. It's like who mm-hmm. feeds him? They're like, no, no, no. He kind of feeds himself. It's like, that's, that's insane that they can just keep hanging on. And then one step lower is obviously ferret households, which, you know, Ooh. you know, a ferret household when you walk in, you go, is why are you keeping been... long rats here? Is that lower than like lizard people? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Dude, you're keeping a like long rat in your house and yeah. road and and ferrets. They dude, they can be bathed every day. They stink like high hell, dude. Ferrets are disgusting. And every house I've ever been to that way had ferrets. Also, had someone in that house that collects knives. I have ninja so stars many and questions. Knives. How many Our, people of ferrets have you been to? For we, we used to we have were a lower, yeah, we were lower middle class, buddy. We went to we hey mom that and dad had to work we could afford. Oh my god. I think of some of the places that we had to go to get watched, and I go, Oh my god, like <laughs> times were different then. 1999, 2000, a different time. Dude. We would go to this sketchy lady's house and she just had like three ferrets and they and they would let them run free. These <laughs> ferrets weren't these weren't caged ferrets, these were Paid feral. Either. I have a Patreon, uh, a Patreon <laughs> bit about that. It's not really a bit, but uh, a little tidbit about that babysitter. Oh, Ooh. that babysitter in get, particular. You got to promise to cut it. Well, can I put it on the Patreon? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Can we just talk about it after? Uh, sure. Remind me about but what happened to our favorite babysitter. Do you think that it didn't have anything to do with the like the monetary? version of it but that would put up with the ferguson boys well i think it was probably the meat in the middle right like price yeah. value equal yeah. plus like that like we were a bad client but they weren't a great agency that's what i would say <laughs> in the corporate world like we're a diff- we're a difficult client and so they charged us differently you know we had sure. we had to kind of do it but mm-hmm. i remember that lady's house it was always dark dude we would go in there and somehow it would do fucking blinds were always shut it was class like i'm pretty sure now looking back as my brain's processing this they were selling weed for sure for sure sure selling weed this is for this sure is related smoke. this is related to the story i'll tell on the patreon <laughs> yeah, i fucking <laughs> knew it dude oh dude and then we had another babysitter who had a son who was a monster he was like he was the devil incarnate like i'm pretty sure if i looked him up right if i see cap if i could remember his last name he's in jail 100 percent. and our golden retriever bit him because it just didn't like him dude we're the nicest dog in the world he <laughs> fucking bit this kid he's like i'm done i'm hey, dude our dog snapped before we did <laughs> He went postal. This kid would go in our backyard and his mom was like, little Malik can do nothing wrong. He's a sweetheart. This kid would go in our backyard and do like this, the dad from Step Brothers. He's like, I like to do dinosaur noises. So he'd go, ah, like he would just scream at the top of his lungs doing dinosaur noises in the backyard. And one day he brought that fucking energy in the house around a golden retriever who has already lived in a chaotic enough household. And he walked up to him and he roared like in his face and our dog just reaches out and just chomps his leg, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> what wasn't awesome is the white trash lady who had like come to our house and would eat our food and cook us shitty meals for babysitting was like, you need to put that dog down. We're like, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> for sure. Needless to say, she was no longer our babysitter. Yeah. Which I mean, how many weeks in a row can we do shaving cream art on the table? I mean, lady, get fucking creative. What if we, we dunked a pine cone in glue and threw glitter at it? Sweet. Oh God, we would do such. We would do white trash arts and crafts. You guys ever do shaving cream art on the table? 
No. It's when your parents can't afford the cable bill, so their babysitter sprays uh, shaving cream on the table and you draw in it. And that should last you, you know, three hours should be about the level of entertainment that's going to last. And you can't get up from the table. Stay there and have fun, <laughs> damn it. And then the next week, because we're closing up to Christmas, we'll go collect pine cones outside. And then, like Harley said, we will dip them in glue and spread glitter on them. And then we'll give them to our parents as presents. If you guys are good, you can watch shitty Disney uh, VHSs. You can watch. You Balto will watch. You will watch VHS. Balto. You'll watch. You'll watch. Uh, fight, oh. What's the movie with the the horse that got broken in? Don't Spirit? start this bit yeah. again. Don't start. This no, that's bit. Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> that's War Horse. Oh, that's no, precious, dude. That's precious. <laughs> you no, started this, bit. damn it! I didn't mean. I was literally. She would. We, we watched that movie Spirit with the horse, the tan horse, and it, like we. We watched it, dude, for for weeks on end. I I used to know that it was a movie with almost no words, so I knew everything that was going to happen. It was just a horse that was living its best life. Oh, that's so funny. So that happened. Um, now to go back to my PR nightmare. I don't do a lot of raking. These two kids knock on my door. Nate, you're muted if you're talking. The Secretariat. Yeah, that's what. God damn it. Nate. <laughs> Wait, it's uh, stripes. What's the story of the zebra movie? Sea biscuit. See the sea biscuit. No, it's not sea biscuit. <laughs> Z biscuit. Z biscuit. <laughs> oh. yeah. This bit is so stupid. Oh no, no, no. Dude, we got on a hard fucking bit playing Fortnite the other day, and now it's crying. Laughing so hard, I don't. I can't even tell you what it was. It was just so stupid. When when it takes fire, it just goes through the like. You yeah. can't stop it, and then it stops for a little bit, and then someone oh. has to bring it right back in. Oh man! So, anyways, I'm having a PR crisis. They knock on the door. They ask if they can rake my lawn for ten dollars. I look. I don't really examine the optics, and I just go, sure, whatever, fine, that's fine. And then it dawns on me after they get started because there's not there's two of them and they're working pretty fast that um, there are two young black kids raking my lawn as I stand there and watch from my porch. And that's not <laughs> ideal from like a, from a PR standpoint from, for like Lucy came home and she just goes, what's uh, what's going on here? <laughs> she's like, God, I don't know. It is what it is. And then suddenly like two more kids show up. So now it's like, it is like, it's like four or five kids raking my lawn and I just have the window there and I'm standing with my arms on my hips because I'm thinking about something else. Like I was deep in thought. And then I finally, hit me that i look like i'm like overseeing the action a little mm -hmm. bit you're and watching I, the help and then yeah, a little it did feel a little bit you know and so Mon then they monster candy <laughs> oh god you were you were sweet tooth himself mr mr fresh and we don't we finish you alone <laughs> and so they came to the door to collect their payment and I, not knowing what the hell to say, I had them $15 instead of 10 And I got through a couple X in there because you guys did such good work. I'm like, looks good, boys. Or like I said something and I was just like, fuck, <laughs> God damn it. I was like, stop talking, Hayden. And uh, now I'm scared that my house is going to get egged because I because look you like gave the house. Because no way. You, Dude. Because you allowed for gainful employment. So that was my thing is I was like, on the and also like. I respect the hustle of like, cause that we like shoveling the driveway, raking the lawn. Like that's like mm -hmm. not really, so you don't see kids going out and asking for it. So they came, they had rakes in hand. They're like, we'll rake it for 10 bucks. I'm like, that's a steal because there's so that's many steal. leaves. So I grabbed a couple extra bucks in general, just cause I was like, also they must be saving for something. Like I remember saving for video games and being like, man, if I could do three driveways today, I might be able to crack this and make it happen. So I was very supportive, but Dude, you, you know, got, you got winter shoveling. You got, hey. you got it covered now. Mm -hmm. dude yeah but also <laughs> you're gonna pay some you're gonna pay some hick 50 dollars every time Fuck no snows. i'll do myself to ram, I, to ram a plow on his truck up your driveway and he's probably gonna break your shit yeah you're gonna cool. give five kids 10 bucks total yeah sorry bud didn't mean to hit your truck bud shouldn't have had it parked there bud that's what they did say to me yeah but no, no, I would, dude, I, I utmost respect for the grind for these kids. But I'm just saying being like probably, you know, it, we're definitely in like, I would say closer in the minority in our neighborhood. It just looked it like it had, it definitely had a bit of a funny <laughs> vibe to it with like me See, and these big bay windows looking out with a cup of coffee yeah. over, over a bunch of kids working in my lawn. It'd only be bad if you were like, uh, you missed a couple in that corner. Oh, you guys I got to come on back. 
it wasn't, I mean, I'll say this. It was like a 7.5 out of 10 job, but that enough from, that was enough for me because the leaf truck was coming today and they got picked up. Mm. So it did, it did look very, you know, it's all you, good. See, it, it's like this all four. I think the PR nightmare you're thinking is it's squashed. It's good stuff. Now, if you took your little and started walking around making him break leaves, <laughs> then we got a problem. <laughs> if we can get three more houses today, uh, I can get uh, this video game that I want. He's just going to go to Big Brothers or uh, LittleBrothers.com. <laughs> I need bunch. more. Yeah. I'll have three more Littles. What is please. it? Dude, Big Brothers. That's Beach okay. Saturday, so that's Saturday. what I'm talking about. That's actually really fucking funny. What if we did turn this into a four? Like, it's a nonprofit for profit. Like, we just, we, <laughs> you, it's mentorship, but also yeah. we, I, I collect Littles to do gainful the, work for me. The children <laughs> yearn for the mines. They do, yeah. dude. I go, it's like Minecraft. I go, come on. We're just picking up garbage. We're looting, dude. We're, we're looting. looting. And so I go, yeah, I treat it like Fortnite. I go, come on, do a little uh, dance and then loot, loot something a little bit. Kind of go, <laughs> get your highway. materials up. Yeah, yeah. I go, we got to gather wood. These are leaves. They're wood. I go, now do Orange Justice. Do it. If you finish, you can gritty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I go, I'll unlock an emote for you. I'll teach you something. I'll teach you how to two-step. If you, if you if you rake my lawn, I'll teach you how to crip walk. When I when I flossed for the for the middle schoolers like three years ago, they oh. they were shook. Yeah, dude. You probably they were like we didn't know he could move like that. I tried tried to hit it orange justice. It didn't hit. That's what that's a little niche, dude. Now if you can, no, gritty, they they knew it. It was just it was cringe. Well, yeah, yeah. Probably. It wasn't executed perfectly. That'll happen, dude. Anytime I try to dance at all, dancing sucks. It's so because it's it. such a release. Like when you really start letting loose, you're having a blast. But the second you become self aware of what you're doing, you're like, I guess I'm not having fun anymore. Like there's no, like that's the only thing alcohol has on, on a good time over any other drug is like being able to just get drunk and just be like, fuck it, I'm grooving and dancing and mm. not giving a shit. But man, any other like, sober high it doesn't matter when you're dancing the second you realize that you've done the same move twice in like a 10 seconds period you're like i suck i suck everyone's watching me <laughs> the the stress of being pushed into a dance circle oh dude oh, oh, yeah, that's my hell that's my hell so I, sober <laughs> getting pushed into a dance circle surrounded by people who are good at dancing yeah if I ever get pushed yeah. in a dance circle again, I'm gonna kill myself in the middle of it. I'm just gonna look out. Like, I just go and for my oh, final no. move, I just just <laughs> drop myself <laughs> on the dance floor. Oh yeah, it's rough. Dance circles are that is that is, like you said that is my hell. It's just forever. <laughs> if hell was a unique place for everyone, it's being pushed into a dance circle at a wedding for good dancers. I do love uh, kids doing Fortnite dance offs though. Yeah. Remember when you were a little kid and you would just bust down at every wedding you ever got to go at? Like they didn't matter. So I would run and just slide on my knees as far as I could across the room. Like you would just do that. Like you would get so hype. I remember I would do like I would try to do the jerk as a, as like a young fat kid to like the mambo number five. Man, and the problem is our dad is such a sweet guy, but he would gas me up. He'd be like, "You're a good dancer, Hayden." And I carried that kind of energy until high school when I found out that it was a lie. King's good dad, dance. good dad move though. <laughs> it is a good dad move, dude. Gas you up. King's yeah. dance, twenty fourteen. Learn my or twenty twelve. Learn my lesson. Learn real quick. Um, Here's let's do Wander Shine. Twenty twelve. Wait, saying. no, wait, wait. Before we do Wander Shine, Nate, we got a follow up. We have a we have a follow up item to uh to the college pro painter story last week. <gasps> oh yeah, and it's time oh. that we hear. This is Keaton's rebuttal. I have not listened to it. I've only listened to the first like five seconds to confirm it was him. Let's listen to that. We'll do Wander Shine. Let me see if I can find this here. Man, let me tell you something, bro. Harley, how you doing over there, buddy? Oh, living the dream. Every once in a while, my internet goes a little spotty, but we're we're out here. Haven't even. <clears throat> it's officially winter up in the North Woods. It's been cold Sweet. as shit, scraping windows. Y'all got snow? Uh, We did last week. I'm like really not looking forward to that. When you wake up and you're, everything's just covered in white bullshit. Honestly, it's better than right now where it's just cold with no snow. At least once there's snow on the ground, you can start doing winter shit. November is one of those like boring shoulder seasons where nothing's happening. Like unless I unless I hunted, then I'd be all about it. Yeah. All right, this is Keaton. <laughs> What's up, boys? Got a call in, especially after hearing uh 
<laughs> this uh, recent episode talking about College Works painting. Um, <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, biggest pyramid scheme of my life. I, <laughs> I was dumb, and I got sold on this idea that I could make forty thousand dollars that summer if I sold painted houses. And, <laughs> and I'll tell you, those boys were troopers. Um, I definitely, definitely got one past them, and cracked <laughs> up because I asked them to hit. Uh, house is separate and they decided to team up and i'm pretty sure they just walked up to doors and were like hey you want your house painted in the middle of february uh, <laughs> a little shocked to see two dudes that just freaked the booze oh my god you guys felt so bad uh, it was probably not the best idea but uh appreciate you guys coming out and doing that uh, yeah that was those, those were those were some interesting times i will say the uh the, the the day before I quit, I went out to a guy's house. I quoted him, and um, he uh, I quoted him almost fifty thousand dollars to get his house painted. And he looked at me like I was crazy, and then asked if I wanted to ride back to the dorms, which I accepted. So <laughs> <laughs> but, appreciate you, boys. Love you, guys. Oh, he oh, no. oh. <laughs> thought of, thought of, I didn't realize you and you and Ider's step brothers did. You oh yeah. Know, you, you go, excuse me, sir. I'm from College Works, and then Hyder pops over your shoulder, painting. <laughs> and we'd like to, we'd like to, and then. Off key, paint your house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the thought oh. of you guys, middle of February too, like not painting season. Just say, excuse me, it's Dude, never. It was, oh. You're reading up, you have a crumpled piece of paper. It's never too late to get a jump on summer pr- plans. I have. <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> I am an ex crack addict, and I'm selling <laughs> painted houses to, to raise money. <laughs> So how much is this going to run me? Oh, just $60,000. <laughs> run of the mill paint jobs. So I, have a two bed, I have a two bedroom house. Oh my God. <laughs> 500 square feet of siding. Why does it cost $50,000? The thought you could build a whole new house of that guy, like putting his hand on Keaton's shoulder and going, you need to ride back to, you need to ride back to school. <laughs> <so."> <laughs> you got, you get pyramid schemed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. We'll stop at McDonald's on the way. Let's get you a high C. Let's get you a high C orange and a happy meal, dude. Dude, oh. that's a business idea. Is a uh, MLM recovery center. Mm-hmm. Oh, you learn what like, here are one of the warning signs. If it sounds too good to be true, it is it too is. good to be true. <laughs> buy our buy our on. next package, and we'll tell you how to get out of a pyramid scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get five friends to sign up for recovery. We'll do it. And then they go, wait a minute. He goes, good. You passed the final test. You're good to go. You can leave. <laughs> I love the thought of the meeting at seven. I'd be mean, like, what? Like, like they draw the shape. They go, okay. So we got one guy on top and he starts hiring people and he starts hiring people. Who can tell me what shape this is? And like, everyone's like, Oh, ah. mm. square. Yeah, they draw it. It's a pyramid. I'm telling you, dude, that brings me back. And I think I may have told this story on the podcast way long ago. But like when I went and sat down and almost got pyramid schemed at a Perkins during college myself, oh. there was a dude who was selling nutrition bars. And his whole claim to fame was that they were like helping underprivileged communities like build houses in Africa with that money or down south. I do he's pretty vague about where who was getting houses built. Someone was getting a house built about it. He wasn't very like open about who was. Anyways, these bars were called like one bars or something like that. And uh I meet him at some like event I had to do for school and he's like, let's get coffee and connect. Let's network. And this is back when I thought that I would enjoy this <laughs> career I'm in. So he, I was like, I would love a networking coffee like day. So I went to this coffee thing at a Perkins. We sit there for the whole time. He kind of explains all the things he's doing with them. And then he uh, he goes, all right, so so to join the company, like where well, I'd love to have you on my team. He goes, it is $250 to buy in to like to get the spot. I'm like, and that's kind of when it first went off. I was like, I'm so confused. Like, why have you're hiring me, but it's going to cost me money. This is very bizarre. And he starts talking to you. He goes, now I have a couple people under me. They have people under them. They've built a team, sales teams. They're making great money. They're getting hit these rewards. They're getting travel. And he goes, so let me draw it out a little bit for you. And he starts drawing it and he draws it upside down. And he goes, now I know what you're thinking. It looks like a pyramid. And then he turns the <laughs> napkin and I go, I was like, it, 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 look, it, it, it looks, looks like, like a pyramid. It walks it like a duck. It quacks a like a duck. It is a, it is a pyramid scheme. Uh, and then uh, after that, I unfriended him on Facebook. 
And uh, he just added me back like two weeks ago, which is awesome. Is he still so, pyramid scheming, you think? I believe so. I believe he's you still got a the message that said, hey, girly, yet? He goes, hey, big boy. Hey, big boss. <laughs> These bars help me lose weight. They'll help you lose weight, too. I'm like, God damn it. You're going to get me a second time. You got these bars that make your cock bigger. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you'd want any of them because you're you have such a big cock you, already, right? You'd be surprised <laughs> at how good it tastes. Like one of my favorite things in life is a, is a McDouble, but I add an extra patty to it, and it shockingly tastes exactly the same. <laughs> but, but it's one healthier of, for you. It's healthier. One of our uh, one of our buddies in Montana. He uh, he actually went to Nina. He got into an MLM scheme for energy drinks oh, and literally for the next Verve. six years, Verve, yeah. if at any time someone needed to pick me up when we were like going to go out and kind of get drunk that night, he'd go into his closet and he still had stacks of Verve energy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he'd oh. pass them out. <laughs> they were like years expired. <laughs> We'd just be slugging Verve. Dude, it's like a fine wine. What do you think it ran him to get out of that? I don't know. I think he eventually broke close to even because <laughs> when he was like really broke, if you bought a verb from him, he'd be like, dude, can I get like a dollar or two for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine not making rent for the month and be like, I guess I have to go sell verb. I have to go in the street and <laughs> pedal energy drinks. Dude, what a be so rough. How the fuck are people so stupid that they even like? How do you get caught in a multi-level marketing? They scheme? get they get them young. They get you. Yeah, it's like college. Money. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I college guess. house moms, like, dude, it's crazy. I I saw a thing on um, like not incense, but uh, essential oils. Oh, oh yeah. Did we miss a market, boys? That's a billion dollar market. I've dude. always said I would love to start a pyramid scheme. I'm not stupid enough to actually get sucked into one. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad. Um, but you tried like, to start I, one in 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 high school, didn't you? No. <laughs> oh, that was a pyramid <laughs> scheme. That was a that was a vagina scheme. Um, I did. I in college, I started a new trop. I tried to start a new tropics pyramid scheme, and I was a, ahead of my time. I I didn't go. I didn't like finish it. I started it, but man, I I would be billionaire Dude, right now if I Nate, started. Yeah. That. Nootropics are like cashing in big time right now. Yeah, that was in 2016. This Damn. is dirty mushroom water. To take it and your brain will be working. Like that's that. They're all mm. those work. Like mud What's water. Name? New dirt. mud water, dirt, <clears throat> cum. It's just all it just doesn't matter, dude. They just fucking it'll make gorilla you come. You're really cum. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, hey, you're getting the, the double D podcast. I'll round up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! You know, oh God. you know we're having a low content episode when we start taking shots. Of <laughs> Is that gonna we, really play we, we, before this? And he goes, he goes, what are you guys gonna talk about? I went, I have, I have no idea. I was like, good, good chance you guys get brought up again. We're, how many, we're how many guns in, we have? Yeah, an hour and ten in, and have not wide or shine. That's a that episode. That's because we're just talking it out, dude. I know, I love not, it. We're just, we're just making out. But we should do that. Let, we should do a quick water shot. Let's do a fucking. Let's get that done, dude. I wasn't it pushing for it. it. It seems like you want water shot business. It is the segment where we shine light on something we liked, or whine about something we didn't like this week, or in Gen Roll. I'm gonna do a quick wine shine combo. Wine shine, wine shine. My wine. Is uh, I got well, it's a kind of a gated news. I am so sick of subscription news services, they have the juiciest article titles. Today, one of them was like, Bosses have a new problem, employees won't quit. And I went to click on it because I wanted to laugh, and it won't let me in. I have to subscribe for $13 a month to Apple Ooh. News Plus. But then you click on another one, and it's like, Gaza Strip, like urgent news, whatever. You click on it, it's like, sorry, subscribe to Wall Street Journal for fifteen dollars a month. Like, dude, if I actually wanted to stay plugged in on all the things happening in the world, it would cost me a hundred dollars a month. So I'll rather stay ignorant. I'd rather stay ignorant. You know what I mean? That's why Twitter will never, never die. Exactly. It's the only, you know, X. By the way, um, oh, yeah. but uh, but yeah, if I'm uh, that's my big wine right now. Is every time I want to go read something on the news or I click something because your phone will serve you up really nice highlights in the morning. Be like here's five awesome stories that you actually would be interested in reading. And the minute you click on them, it's like try a free trial and then pay a hundred dollars. I hate that mm -hmm. back to you, back to the YouTube algorithms and whatever it gives me kind of dude there. I think there is a, like a something where you could kind of like, 
backslash it online or something. You can do something where you can you can read it as is, um, but that's all off desktop. I can't be on my phone in bed scrolling articles. I, I'm a big article reader as I get older, guys. A little less on the little less on the memes, a little more in the articles. But I've been trying to do mm-hmm. mixing a little more brain knowledge. You know, wow. get some of that in. Wow. Um, my shine, unconventional snacks. Hmm. Pussy. Everybody knows a gaming weekend and all that stuff. You go Cool Ranch Doritos, right? You go to the fucking Mount Rushmore. Cool Ranch Doritos, pizza, soda, pretzels, soda. whatever it is. Right? Soda! <laughs> you do a couple of those. But... <laughs> Shut up, Dave. Shut... <laughs> Harley, you didn't need to put that in my brain. Um, we had pigs in a blanket, dude. Oh. as a snack what a wild snack to have and then <laughs> our our friend's wife made us uh zucchini blueberry muffins like we had like Ooh. we had such like wholesome interesting snacks that were that took my palate on a ride when it's usually not used to which is you know like mini donuts and chips like gaming food we mm. were like let no let's do we did we had a charcuterie board we showed up there was a charcuterie board in an old-fashioned table set up for us and then three hours later we were eating uh pigs in a blanket you ever had a pig in a blanket at one in the morning? That'll change your oh, goddamn life, dude. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Oh, I, I would eat like ten of those right now. Oh, I knocked them out, dude. And then they had fancy mustard and fancy ketchup, like gourmet. So I was just like, dude, we we're having a five star. Oh. That's that's thirty, dude. That, Sir that's Kensington. Like, yeah, I was like, hello, Sir Kensington's ketchup, gourmet, a little bit of spice in it. You were know? they uh, were they four inch gang pigs in a blanket, or were they the full length dogs? <laughs> he, he no, just picking them up. Yep, that's about right. I like this. <laughs> this is average. <laughs> they were the t- they were the t- they were the tiny were they growers or showers. These were these are huge. These were, they were <laughs> tiny little babies. They're That's tiny what, little baby wieners. You get the dude. right, uh, you get the right crest crescent roll to dog ratio with those. Dude, she had an operation. It was it looked like a fucking like a trap house. Dude, I walked upstairs. She was just rolling them up, <laughs> licking her fingers, rolling up these rolling up these croissant dogs. And then, uh, yeah, it was great. I, I, big ups on unconventional snacks. Next time you have a, next time you have like a night where you're like we're gonna watch a movie, skip the popcorn and make fucking pigs in a blanket. Make I, bagel pizza. Why do pigs in a blanket have to be mini only? Well, they don't have to. We were, we were, as I said, white trash growing up. We would do full dogs with a croissant, which because that's what you got. You didn't Damn. buy the mini Wheaties. That's awesome. That is you you do you eat three of those? You feel horrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking that dude. I'm douse them, douse them in ketchup and just eat it on the entire croissant roll. Yeah, we can plan secured. Oh, dude, we might have to do a croissant dog night. We good, Dude, yeah. They're top notch. So that's my wine shine combo, Matt. You're up. Mm, you're gonna send it to me, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna um, wine. I don't know. Uh, I told Harley about this before, and he kind of confirmed my uh, my fears. But we went to a diner this last weekend out in Rosendale. It's got uh, a bunch of dead animals on the wall and filled with farmers and camo and. This farmer in Gene Overalls orders apple pie, caramel apple pie, a la mode, so with ice Ooh. cream. And the waitress, which I thought was a mistake, I overheard it and Anna did too, said, do you want cheddar cheese on there? <gasps> and he goes, yeah. And, and I'm checking out. I'm at the counter next to him paying. And it's got shredded cheddar cheese on a slice. Oh, of- you didn't tell me it was shredded. That's disgusting. <laughs> it it was, wouldn't be shredded. It was on a caramel apple pie with cheese. What are you talking about? It's disgusting. It wasn't, and it wasn't melted. And that and Harley said that he had heard that's a thing. Pie and with I don't cheese get is it. a thing. It's good. Pie with cheese is good. Shredded tread, shredded ched on top with what ice cream. What would it be without? Like melted cheddar? No, you usually put a like slice? a Think of like a charcuterie board. You have like fruit and cheese, right? <laughs> on a cracker, that's a delicious combo. Well, add a little sweetness to that. It's like you're putting a jam oh. on a cracker with cheese. It's actually phenomenal. But caramel and ice cream, getting in on the cheese yeah, dude, mix. Now you're fucking, yeah, if you have just it's straight up like flavor. apple strudel or something with a little bite of like brie, fine. But you shredded, sh- I mean, that's the most white trash bullshit I've ever heard. I didn't know, I didn't know it was shredded when I endorsed yeah, it. I left out some details because I wanted to keep it fresh, dude. 
Oh, Matt, that is God. a shocking revelation. That's a the, shocking the revelation. One, the shocking re- revelation is that the one guy who's lactose to- intolerant says that he <laughs> likes cheese on pie. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild, Harley. <laughs> and you do get it a la mode, don't you? I don't, but I do have some ice cream in the freezer. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do a live cast of Harley just eating a pint of cream. Harley, we're going to make you eat everything we can a la mode. Once we get to pick whatever food and you get one scoop of ice cream at a time until you're done with the pail. Yeah. That's it, how we, it's, it's, usually dairy is dairy hasn't been so bad. It's when it's sweet dairy, like ice cream, ooh, absolutely yeah. wrecked. But like <laughs> cheese, not so bad. Yeah. Okay. I actually like this is a YouTube video, a la mode with Harley. And we just get to pick a food <laughs> and he has to put a scoop of vanilla ice cream on it and eat it and be like, Does it is would you take this food a la mode ever again? And he has to go yes or no. Oh, we that's just actually go through great. a whole menu of ooh. food and be like, is it a la mode or not? But and then we, it's like we triple mic him. We put one over his his jacked up belly button, <laughs> one over his butt, and then hundred percent, dude. And then we get like up circle. your mouth, too. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to hear the gurgles, you know. Get the, the get the thermal get the that, thermal be... cam over my bed that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> red no, whenever we hear something, we do like a we do like a a replay, but we turn the thermal filter on. We go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> mind you. What's a um, food that's not a la mode that would be good a la mode? She uh, I, think, rolls. I think cereal. Cereal. Like if you dropped a bed, thing of ice cream cereal. in your cereal, it might actually be good. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's gonna it's, turn it into a smoothie. Granola. Cinnamon rolls. Granola, granola is always good a la mode. Cinnamon rolls would be elite a la mode. Waffles a la mode. Ooh, a PB and J with a uh, ice cream in the middle. Banana bread a la mode. Banana bread a la mode for show. What I would like be the, the worst? Like pizza spaghetti. Spaghetti olive mode. Do you can imagine a piece of pepperoni pizza with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top? <laughs> you know the crazy. So I, I um, think this is an actual series we should try. I'll have a pepperoni pizza a la mode, please. The guy at Pizza Hut goes, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> he hangs up on me. <laughs> I'll have two. I'll have Caesar two salad a la mode. I'll, yeah, I'll have two extra most cheesiest a la mode, please. He goes, "Jesus Christ!" Uh, a Caesar salad a la mode would be disgusting. Anchovy dressing. A la mode. Fish sticks, a la mode. Oh, <laughs> dipping them in ice cream. <laughs> you go, these are cinnamon sticks. They take the first bite and go, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yucky. All right. Good, uh, good. What is that? Was that a wine or a shine, Matt? I, it turned into a wine. Okay. All right. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, that's a short and sweet this week. Love it. Harley, you're up. I got a shine, shine combo for you. Shine, 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 shine. Uh, we're living in the age where you can, you can just do it. You can just learn it. Um, and that's what I've been doing honestly this whole semester. So what I just learned this week was how to distill kind of funny enough that we mentioned essential oils. We got a copper still at Mm. the college and we distilled essential oils today. So took a bunch of dried lavender and did a steam distillation. And I thought it was going to be really hard and like, it was going to be, uh, more than what I knew how to do, but it was actually like, I don't know with YouTube. And the internet, all things are possible. So I was feeling that today. I can Yard do all, dog, can I you. pitch you a business idea? Yes. You make these all-natural essential oils yourself. Put them in candles. Christina bought an organic candle because she's worried that the ones that we have in our house are giving her cancer. They are. Um, make it, it was like $14 for a candle, for this organic candle. You need mm-hmm. to get in the candle game, bub. Okay. One thing, yes, Harley, do that. Number two, Harley, stop ruining everything fun. And, uh, and everything gives us cancer. Why are candles giving us cancer now? Was That that was one of those you could have holstered and let us just die in peace. No, the artificial fragrances are, are wicked in terms of health, and so are the way that they burn, depending on what's actually in the wax, because a lot of them have, like, hydrocarbons in them they're not like soy or like beeswax candles it's actually like i don't know it's like petroleum jelly you're sounding very soy right now can i tell you that <laughs> super soy you're be soy a man <laughs> get cancer from your candles be a man. Time, time, <laughs> light, a, light a pumpkin spice candle grow a third arm be a man be a man <laughs> Have my, light my christmas candle lose one of my balls be a man and yeah that is our new business soy boy candles by harley Ooh. That's actually cancer great. free, cancer Hippie. free. Soy boy, soy boy uh products. It's just uh healthy no care products for men. With a touch Ooh. of soy. 
with the touch of soy. This is a get in touch with your feelings cinnamon. Go ahead and like this. (laughs) (laughs) This is a trauma blueberry. (laughs) This is he ray shampoo. This is is tiger's love cinnamon. (laughs) (laughs) My dad didn't hug me enough. Huckleberry. I sexually confused strawberry, please. <laughs> like um, Kiss your right, pants, all right, maybe. maybe maybe we'll send that to the tomato people first. Some soy Ooh, boy candles. Let's Some do it. I would I would fund your candle making. We well, we have uh, Anna's made candles here. I'm making some soap as well from the same oh. essential oils. Because we we uh, rendered beef tallow a couple weeks ago, so that was very similar. Here we go. Back to the fucking no shower days. My I, my dog would love if I covered myself in beef. <laughs> well, you're supposed to cook out as much of the smell as you can. It's it's pretty scentless at this point, and it still has to be treated with lye because it's still just tallow right now. But pretty soon it'll be soap. Whatever. Um, uh, Harley, with the copper seal, could you make us moonshine? Could we have a Tuesday ketchup branded moonshine? Technically, we could. And uh, knowing what I know now, we don't even need a copper still. We just need. We just need a couple pieces of equipment, and it would be pretty straightforward. A few, a few strong men in a Let's will to have it. fun. Then <laughs> we could get some moonshine. Yeah, but if we thing. if we call, put a little bit of lavender in it, it's essential oils, baby. It's not live, liquor. love, lavender moonshine. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh. There would be some white girls going blind from the product for sure. Oh if yeah, you put oh, like no. yeah. white girl. This one right here. <laughs> <laughs> We all get arrested because we're running shine. It's 2023. What are you doing? Well, it's probably the way they used to distill it. So the first thing that comes out when you distill alcohol is like methyl alcohol, which is not good. Um, more toxic for you than eth- ethanol. It's got one less carbon on it. So it's, it depends on which type of alcohol you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yon's ice snore. We just got Fuck no. you guys. Cool, man. Uh, all right. Moving on. Moving, on. moving on. Moving on to the next yeah, shine. Yeah, yeah. All right. Give us. All right, my next shine is kind of similar to yours, Hayden, the unconventional snacks. I'm shining unconventional things like that benefit your community. So I sent Hayden this video. This guy has like an underground basketball court in his like backyard garage. And so like kids and athletes in the area can contact him and they sign up for this gym and they punch in the punch code and they can play basketball 24-7. So that's it's kind of awesome. like a like a local Y that's open twenty four seven kind of self serve in Hayward. No, I don't know where it was, but um, just like that kind of cool unconventional thing that is accessible to the people like in your community. I think that would not cool. that would not go well in Matt's neighborhood. <laughs> hey just kids, a, come and go, yeah, please. Oh, this is a locked room full of unsupervised children in the middle of the night. <laughs> it just What's turns that into again. <laughs> Dirty Mike and the boys. We will have sex again in this Prius. You see, you see one of the diddlers doing like a like removing one of the fingerprints with latex off the thing. Yeah. Like, I think I, I'm gonna crack the code soon. No, dude, we will send the video though. It is an insane. It's like a full gym and a lounge and all this stuff. And it's like I got all the tra- like all this training equipment. It's very. It's like from a boutique training gym. Like that's where the ballers get. Dude, that's the new thing these days. Is like if you're a baller in any sport, you get like a one on one boutique shop and you like rent a membership there and you just go nuts i've seen it for baseball like those sports academies and stuff but mm-hmm. this is a cooler cooler way to do it good shine sorry sorry we made funny about your carbons dude we we're just kidding i don't it doesn't bother me go ahead go blind drinking your moonshine don't, <laughs> hey, don't hey, distill yeah. out the methyl alcohol be my guest <laughs> me me looking at a, two vials one of h2o one of h2o2 and just thinking back on god i don't know if i know the answer here <laughs> if only harley was here all right nate take us home Oh, I'm going to shine on messing with somebody who just gets on your nerve, but in a way where they don't even realize it, but you do very subtly messing with them. Did I tell you about my coworker who won't tell me who, who did her taxes? No, (laughs) Oh, that's, that's clause out time. Yeah, so we Show we, your bowl. we got we got a, a <clears throat> our old CFO did something weird on our tax returns or on our W twos, and we both did our taxes on TurboTax, and it said we both owed owed like an exorbitant amount that we probably shouldn't have. 
or or what have you or, or we should have i don't know but um so i was bugging her because she was like yeah I, I had to owe like seven grand and uh, and then she was like yeah but then i i went to my husband or my boyfriend's uh cpa and he did it for me and now i didn't owe anything and i was like oh thanks god you gotta give me his name and so i bugged her uh for it and then the tax deadline was extended for california by like 10 months and so that was october 16th is when i had to get my taxes in for 2022 so it was like October 10th and I was bugging her again. I was like, Hey, what is the name of your, that CPA guy? She's like, uh, it's not going to happen, bud. And I was like, what? She I was like, no bud. yeah, I was like, I was like, why are you, why are you hiding your CPA from me? She's like, I'm not hiding him, but like Doug's parents are in town and like, I don't want to like bug him with this. I'm like, all you do, I'll just add, like, she's like, Google it. And I was like, there's a million CPAs in Woodland Hills. I'm like, just give me his name and I'll Google it. She's like, I, I have no promises. Like, like all you have to do is ask the the oh. man that you're sleeping with in bed for what oh the name God. of the guy that did your taxes was. <laughs> I was so fucking livid. I be <laughs> like rage, dude. Like, like what a what a like such a minute thing <laughs> that she's like, it's not happening, bud. And oh. so, oh. so I um. So the, the tax deadline hasn't been extended. I did my taxes on H&R Block and they fixed the issue. I could have gotten this done months ago. It was like yeah. the easiest thing. But TurboTax sucks. Don't do it. To, don't do your taxes. So so I've been bugging her for the last two weeks. I, I'd pop in her office every couple of days and say, hey, uh, you know, the tax deadline was extended. So I've got some extra time to do my taxes. Uh, can you can you can you tell me who that CPA is? She goes, I don't I'll, have to, I'll ask Doug, but, I, you know, it's probably not happening and so I, I keep bugging her about it knowing that it's pissing her off and it, it's i i got my taxes done i don't owe anything but i'm gonna keep bugging you dude, because that's, that's so ridiculous dude, dude i hope i and, hope oh she's, Nate, i hope she Nate, snaps you know dude. what you should do when she finally gives you the name call and be a total prick and tell him doug sent you <laughs> hey i'm coming down there you piece of shit yeah it's me with the red prius i'm coming down there. Yeah, I fucking suck at your job <laughs> my friend doug says you're horrible <laughs> i'm not an option cpa no. for like soy boy i once she finally tells me i'm just gonna be like oh i got it done with turbo tax i'm fine i don't need, actually need it so, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right to her face. I'm just, oh, it's I actually got it done already with Turbo Tech or with H and R Block, dude. I love it. I love it. It's so insane. Am I? Am I'm not the insane one here, right? No, just it's tell like, me the guy's it's, it's fucking cool. name, dude. Because it's not something you should hide. Like the the CPA doesn't not do their taxes because he does yours. Like it's not. It's not an if or them. Like a you or them thing. It's literally just yeah. Like, if, and, and also the CPA would be pissed if he found out that he was losing out on money. Like yeah, because they because someone was gatekeeping him. Mate, is this the woman <laughs> who you showed your balls? Because maybe different she woman, has an different ulterior woman, different, motive. Different, different woman in my office. <laughs> Women in STEM. <laughs> Showing women your STEM. Nice. Oh, you just the root, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah, just, just, it's just, just, just the, the root. Just the pine cones. Oh, man. Beautiful. What a way to cap this off, Nate. I that's fuck, That is an unhinged story if I've ever it's heard It's insane. One. I feel bad for you. I'd be, I'd be so mad I wouldn't even know what to say. I would just, I'd be so I, I don't say anything to her. All I do is bug her about the CPA, like, twice a week. You should get her husband's number, her boyfriend's number. Me, and, yeah, like, she funny. tried to hit on me. Like you should just ruin her life just for fun. What yeah, you, you should that? print off every CPA in LA and go, could you look through this and see if any of these three <laughs> go back? <laughs> <laughs> just circle the one that sounds familiar. Yeah. Dude, what you're gonna find out is she never actually did her taxes. She's on she's evading her taxes and doesn't know how to tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blink twice if you aren't paying taxes. <laughs> I'm beginning to think the CPA isn't real. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I love it. All right, final thoughts around the table. We hey boys, we did it. We fucking we did, did it. it. Uh, Matt, we're starting with you, guys. If you're gonna join a MLM, make sure it's mine. Um, soy boy candles for life, and you know what? Don't pay your taxes. Fuck it. <laughs> Harley, final thoughts. Uh, remember, remember the 7th of November, the day that that one Tuesday catch up episode dropped. Um, if somebody in your office won't give you uh, very public information, ruin their life. It's simple as that. You've been this has been the Tuesday catch. <laughs> Nate, final thoughts. 
What's up, shitheads? This is Nate from Nathan Nation. I just want to say this was a good episode. It was nice chopping it up with the fellas. And um, we'll see you next Tuesday. My final thoughts. If you go into a house and there's ferrets there, turn around and leave immediately. <laughs> Shaving cream is not a toy. And uh, sometimes your dog bites kids they don't like. And that's just the way these things are. Join the Patreon. Good stories abound. All the fun stuff. We love you guys. It's been the Tuesday Catch-Up. And you're all caught up. One, two, three.